Hey guys, I got a new video for you today and I wanted to give you a quick look at a new knife that I just received in the mail. This was uh, literally just dropped off by Amazon about 30 minutes ago. So this is going to be just an initial impressions on the knife, primarily because I haven't really seen a lot of videos on YouTube regarding this knife. And I, I wanted to share some of my, of my initial impressions because I think it might make a difference whether you pick up this knife or not. So this is obviously from CRKT, and this is the CRKT Campano. Uh, I've been really enjoying the new models that CRKT has been putting out for 2021. And this was uh, actually a suggestion as I was looking for something else on Amazon. It came up as a suggestion. I looked up a little bit of the specs and things like that and decided to pick it up. So this is obviously a carabiner with a built-in knife. Now, the way that CRKT is marketing this is, you know, for people that normally carry their keys kind of uh, clipped onto a belt loop on the outside, you know, why not come out with something that has dual purpose? So it's the carabiner and then it has a knife built into it. So you have the ability to have both tools. Now, this is by a new designer from, for CRKT called Mike Bond. Um, he's actually a self-taught CNC machinist that came out with a lot of really intricate uh, carabiners and pens and stuff like that. So he came out with this one here. And I think it looks really, really cool. That's what kind of drew me to it is the look of the, the knife itself. So the carabiner is stainless steel. So you do have a little bit of weight to it. It's actually 2.2 ounces. But because you do have that uh, knife in there as you go to use it, you want it to have a little bit of weight behind it so it's more comfortable. Uh, it's, uh, again, stainless steel body. You have this black portion or darker portion right here. Then you have the lighter um, kind of middle section there with the blade also and the hardware. And then you have this ring, which um, obviously looks like a kind of like a gear that you put your finger through and the carabiner gate clip here in more of a bronze look. So I think the combination of the colors looks really, really awesome. So a couple of specs on the knife itself. Overall length is 4.59 inches. The blade itself is 1.42 inches in length. It is a 5CR15 MOV drop point satin finish flat ground blade. So again, it's a sub two inch blade. So this is gonna be something that, like a backup to a backup. Uh, maybe have it clipped on a pack or if you have it for your keys, um, just you know, to for minimal EDC tasks. Great box opener. Um, it came in really, really sharp. And it is um, quite thick for the size of the blade, which is nice. Uh, you do have a very functional tip there. So you do have to pier something. You can go ahead and do that. Uh, as far as the carabiner itself, you have CRKT on one side and then you have a bond design on the other. The gate, gate clip is really nice. You do have these two wings here, which allow you to um, open it one handed this way, this way, or with both fingers. Um, nice spring tension on it. And um, I think it, it you know, will hold up really well, especially to for everyday use. Again, I mentioned the hole right here is functional, so you can go ahead and stick your finger right through there and you know, kind of wrap your um, hand around when you go to use a knife. Now, um, a couple of things that I wanted to mention on the knife itself. Uh, the first thing is you do have this little kind of point right here that sticks out. Um, it's not a flipper. At first I thought it was a, a tiny, you know, forward flipper. It is not. Um, also, you're not really able to open up the blade one-handed. Maybe as you break it in, you will be able to, but there isn't a lot to hold on to. You know, it'll be kind of awkward. Maybe you have to stick your finger through there to do that. So I just uh, kind of figured I will always have to use both fingers to open it. As you open the blade, you do have a 90 degree half stop right there. This is kind of like a slip joint blade, so there is no locking mechanism on it. And then if you continue to pull the blade open, it um, you know stops at the full open position. Now, a um, couple things on the blade when you have it open, you do have some jimping right here, which is where the um, you know this bar kind of ra raises and lowers when you're opening up the blade. So um, you can rest your thumb right there, which actually if you do it kind of um, gives you more of a security that the blade will not close. And then you have some jimping right up here. Now, my first concern is that when I hold this knife, I'm going to be, you know, um, you know, doing more intricate cuts, you know, maybe like draw cuts and things like that. So I, my thumb automatically wants to rest up here where this jimping is. Now, by doing that, any slight pressure actually closes the blade or starts to close the blade, as you guys can see there, slight pressure, anything. So 
Again, if I'm doing draw cuts, I'm going to be pushing down, so that's not too much of a problem. But if I'm cutting something like a, like 550 cord or, or you know, anything like that, and I go to cut, as I finish my cut, I might continue to close that. And yes, you do have, and again, this is a little bit cringy, but you do have that 90 degree half stop there. As you guys can see, it stopped before I hit my fingers. But um, if I'm going faster or if I have thicker fingers or something like that, I can see myself closing the blade onto my finger. So that was a little bit of a concern for me because again, you know, if, if, if you have a knife that it's going to end up cutting you, then it's, it's not very safe. The other thing is the gate clip here. Again, I mentioned it's, uh, it's pretty nice and you do have these two wings that help you open it up. But when I'm holding the knife, that wing right here on the inside actually becomes a pretty noticeable sore spot. You know, I'm, I, it's digging into my palm there. Luckily, the other one doesn't because of the way my fingers land. They actually land on either side of it, but that one does. And because I know I want to make sure that this doesn't close, I grip it pretty tight. And I, you know, again, in the, you know, hour, half an hour, hour that I've been, you know, kind of playing around with the knife, I've, I've been able to feel it. And, and, you know, that does become a pretty noticeable sore spot there. So uh, I wanted to mention those two kind of initial impressions because again, it might make a difference whether you want to pick up this knife or not. I think if you like the aesthetics and you understand that, you know, this is, you know, pretty easy to clip onto a pack and have it as a little backup knife or something like that, then yeah, by all means, go ahead and pick it up. I think it looks really, really cool. The other thing is, again, CRKT is marketing this as a knife to clip your keys onto. The problem is, once you have your, your keys clipped onto this portion, which is where you would normally clip the keys on a carabiner, um, as you put your finger in there, that's actually gonna, the keys are gonna get in the way. You know, they're gonna be, um, you know, kinda up here, they're gonna be in there, so you're not gonna have as much room to put your finger in there. And then, how are you gonna open up the knife? You know, because obviously you have the key ring right there, you know, it's gonna get in the way as you open it up the knife. So if, even if you were to, you know, push the key ring up here, now it's gonna be at the top. So what do you do with it? Do you, you know, stick it in your hands to hold on to it? Um, does it, you know, go out, outside freely? Again, you know, a couple of things that I, I figured this knife, for me at least, or, and you know, maybe for most people, it's easier just to clip it on a pack, have it with you and just have it there knowing that you have it as a backup or whatnot. So uh, again, um, you know, I think it looks really cool. I like, you know, the aesthetics of it and everything like that. The color combination looks really nice. I think uh, Mike Bond did a great uh, design on here. Um, but you know, there are those, you know, a couple things that I did notice that I wanted to go ahead and share with you guys. I'm going to leave a link below where I picked this guy up, um, in case you guys are interested in picking one up. It is an affiliate link. So, you know, it does have a channel. So if you guys want to go ahead and pick it up, uh, or anything else that you buy through that link, obviously it helps out the channel. I would really appreciate that. So there it is. That's just a quick look and initial impressions at the new CRKT Campano, one of their new knives for 2021. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Thanks.